YouTube, this is Doris. I was just going to do a quick new WWE news video. I'm still going to do my WWE Raw video that will be released either late tomorrow night or early Wednesday morning. Um, but I thought I would do one for today because there was a lot of news over the weekend. Some of it I talked about Friday night and sat Sunday. Some of it I hadn't. Some of it I mentioned a little bit but didn't know the full story. So apparently the I told you last night the NXT UK title was stolen. Walter was at a Evolve show in Chicago. There were quite a few wrestlers whose cars were broken into in smash and grabs and Walter's rental car was one of them. He was supposed to be defending the title at the Evolve show and apparently, I don't know why he left it in the car, but he left it in the car and it got stolen. So I haven't heard any updates on that, whether they found it, if they have any suspects or haven't really heard anything other than it got stolen. Uh, also this week, just early this morning, four wrestlers were released. Luke Hopper. I had mentioned over the weekend that he's been asking for his release and WWE had extended his contract claiming injury time for when he hurt his leg. So his contract was extended to next summer. Well, apparently they decided that they were going to release him. So he got released this morning. Also, Sin Cara got released. And Ascension was released also, the tag team Ascension. Um, apparently, WWE is trying to release wrestlers that are not happy with their current situation. And ones that are not going to impact WWE if they go to AEW. Meaning people that aren't really big mainstream stars they're obviously not going to release their top guys because then they go to AEW that's competition and the fans will follow them and so apparently people that have not been on TV for a while they're gonna if they're unhappy and want out of their contracts they're gonna release them also there was some announcements of some entries into the 2020 Hall of Fame they are going to be entering Batista, who has requested that Fit Finley be the one to induct him. That has not been confirmed yet whether or not it will be Fit Finley to induct him, but that is who Batista has tweeted he would like to have induct him. Also being entered into the WWE Hall of Fame is the NWO. Um, apparently they are, there's a question of whether all of the members will be entered or just a few members. We all know WWE has some heat with Scott Hall. So there's a question whether or not Scott Hall will actually be in the NWO group that gets entered into the Hall of Fame. I think it's kind of stupid for them not to enter them all. They were all part of the group. They all made the group, especially if it's Scott Hall or Kevin Nash, they don't put in. The, the three of the founding members. So we'll have to wait and see if all of the members are inducted or if they're going to leave some up. So, and also still as of today, there are only three confirmed matches from WWE. There's for TLC, there is the tables, ladders, chair match between Roman Reigns and Corbin. There's the SmackDown title match between New Day and Revival. And then there's the Bray Wyatt Miz match. Interesting uh, 2020 storyline for Miz that some people are thinking. If you remember back on SmackDown, it's they had on the Playhouse had the word family and that was the word of the day. And then Bray Wyatt said he didn't know what happened to Daniel Bryan. So some people are saying that's a kind of like a one of those eggs that they are going to create a new Wyatt family. And Daniel Bryan's going to be the first member. People are saying um, there's a rumor that apparently Bray Wyatt brainwashed Daniel Bryan 
and the same thing is going to happen with the Miz, and the Miz is going to become part of the Wyatt family, or the new Wyatt family. We will have to wait and see. I can see that happening. Daniel Bryan was in the original Wyatt family for a short period of time, so I can see him being back in the Wyatt family. But that's a little rumor that's coming around um, try, that's kind of guessing off of what's going on in the storyline now. There's also some new Elite Collection figures on the WWE website. For those of you that have children that are WWE fans, there's a couple of new rings, there's a elimination cage, there's the equipment for a hardcore match. So it might be worth going on there and checking that out if your kids are wrestling fans. Also tonight on WWE Raw, there's they've announced that Rey Mysterio is going to be defending his title against AJ Styles. Uh, Sami Zayn apparently over the weekend confronted a fan during a match that Sami Zayn was on the outside of the ring for. He apparently the fan shouted a homophobic slur at Sami Zayn. Of course, Sami Zayn's response was caught on camera that what the fan said to him was not. All you hear is kind of a muffled sound from the fan and then Sami Zayn freaking out and everything Sami Zayn was caught on camera or everything Sami Zayn said was caught on camera and the ref ended up getting in between them and the fan was ejected from the auditorium. Uh, also an interesting fact that happened today, Charlotte Flair has trademarked her name. She filed the paperwork today with her attorney. Also, uh, Andrade has also trademarked his name, his wrestling name. So both have filed the paperwork with their attorneys to own their wrestling gimmick names. That has to be seen whether or not that means something. Are they going to go to AEW? Are they going to go somewhere else? Doesn't necessarily mean they will. Maybe it's just for future plans. But that's interesting to know. Uh, Nikki Bella has not been medically released by her doctors. Some of you may know that they found a cyst on her brain last year. And apparently she's still having neck injuries from when she did the herniated discs and had surgery. That apparently is not 100% yet. And her doctors are saying that she will never wrestle again. She's claiming that or hoping that they're wrong and she is going to do a return to the ring. She's interested in teaming with Brie to go after the tag team titles. So we'll have to wait and see if she trains, if they're able to remove the cyst. I know they don't like to uh, do brain surgery unless it's absolutely necessary, but you never know. They do have access to the best doctors, so God only knows what they'll be able to do. Uh, it's always a possibility. Lars Sullivan, some of you may remember Lars Sullivan. He had a feud back with Kane. A while back, Kane had a storyline with Lita where Lita was pregnant with Kane's baby. During a match, Lars Sullivan squashed Lita supposedly by accident, ended up causing her to miscarry the baby, and Lars Sullivan walked around with the baby doll for months afterwards. And so the reason I'm saying this is because Lars Sullivan is supposed to be coming back as a wrestler. Uh, apparently he had some anxiety issues which delayed his return. He was supposed to return around Survivor Series and obviously that didn't happen. But they're claiming that um, within the next few months, month or two, he's going to be returning. Um, apparently, under, there's a chance Undertaker will be at WrestleMania. He did miss last year, but they're saying that he may be at this year's and 
a possible match for him is a rematch with Cena. Don't know why he would do a rematch with Cena. Maybe Cena's got a new movie coming out. That seems to be the only time they show up in WWE, him and The Rock. Drives me insane is when they have a new movie coming out. But I'm done dissing. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, also, d I'm interested to see, does anybody have any guesses as to what's in Eric Rowan's freaking cage? At first I thought maybe it was a snake, but then I thought, but it's a cage, I think. Why would he have a snake in a cage? Why wouldn't it just be in a bag? But uh, I don't know what it could be. Anybody, I mean, I, I guess that it would be some weird animal. Some people are guessing that it's a unknown animal that hasn't been found yet by man, and Eric's the one that found it. Doesn't make sense to me, but I mean, because it's got to be something real, right? It can't be a, a fiction in the cage. People are going to see it, but I don't. With WWE, you never know. It could be anything. I just want to see. I'm interested to see. Anybody got any ideas? What do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments what you think is in Eric Rowan's cage. I'm interested to see other people's guesses. And there's also a rumor that Vince McMahon is going to be trying his hand again at XFL. And the rumor is this time he is going to be stepping down from creative of WWE. Woo! We did it, people. We got about. No, I'm only kidding. Um, apparently, he believes that XFL will be a success if that is his focus. So, he's planning on handing the reins over to Triple H because he feels like with the success of NXT, Triple H has proved that the WWE will be in good hands. So, uh, and it will. Triple H has done a marvelous job with NXT. I think NXT is at times better than WWE. But we'll have to see if the XFL thing works. But I'm happy to hear that Vince McMahon may be stepping down. We'll have to see if it really happens or not, but we'll see. And apparently the Rusev Bobby Lashley and Lana storyline is not going to be coming to an end anytime soon. There is a rumor that the storyline is going to go on after the divorce of tonight's show. Yes, they are being divorced on tonight's Raw. Apparently, at the beginning of the year, they are going to have Rusev introduce a new love. And after a short period of time they are going to claim that they got married and this is going to lead to a feud and some mixed tag matches between Rusev and his new wife and Lana and Bobby Lashley um, some people are saying that they think one of the new loves is going to be Nikki Bella we know we already heard that her doctors are not going to release her so it's not going to be Nikki Bella some people are saying that it's going to be one of the minor people like maybe Foxy or somebody like that will end up being Rusev's new love. One thing that I'm interested in is, does anybody remember Liv Morgan? She was kind of that Harlequin little girl with the bl blonde hair. She always had the green tongue. She was part of Paige's little thing there. Oh no, it wasn't Pages. It was, um, she was with the other one there on, on Thursday nights. Can't remember the names. They haven't been on forever. Um, anywho, Liz Morgan, Liv Morgan, people are saying, so there's been some rumors that Bray Wyatt in his little family thing is going to introduce us all to Sister Abigail. And there's a rumor that Liv Morgan is going to be the one to play the part of Sister Abigail. 
If you remember, Bray Wyatt's been talking about Sister Abigail for years, claimed that she was dead. It was the whole rocking chair when they first came out. and But apparently, I can see it because she kind of has, she's kind of small and ha can kind of dress frumpily and maybe put some makeup on. But that is the rumor mill of to intrude, to entice more into the family saga of Bray Wyatt. So that is the weekend news for this weekend. Um, it was news that broke out today and I, there was a lot of it so I thought I would do another video. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that some of these storylines for the next few months going into the new year are ones that are seeable? Do you believe the rumor mill of the families? storyline or the Rusev storyline let me know what you think all right and I will see you guys I'll release another video either tomorrow night or Wednesday morning of my raw of my raw recap all right hope to see you guys thanks for watching thanks YouTube bye hit the like button subscribe if you haven't Hit the like button, or should I say smash the like button? Thanks, guys. See ya.